Janice, are you there? At your service, sir. Give me anti-feminist president. Will do, sir. And elections have concluded in South Korea too. The country has a new president now. His name is Yoon Suk Yol, a former public attorney and a political newcomer with conservative political views. Mr. Yoon is a self-proclaimed anti-feminist. He wants to abolish South Korea's Ministry for, of Gender Equality. Anti-feminist president promises to raise penalties for false sex crimes. South Korean men have had enough. Welcome to Men's Fair Highlights Daily. Yoon Suk Yul has been elected as South Korea's new president, a self-proclaimed anti-feminist. He wants to abolish South Korea's Ministry for Gender Equality. That's deep! Because the Ministry for Gender Equality is in charge of planning gender-related policies, such as expanding women's social participation, preventing domestic and sexual violence, and protecting victims. Now, this report from the World is One News highlighted some interesting things South Korea's new president would like to do for his country when it comes to feminism. And I have a feeling some of these things that we are about to highlight will also happen in the West. So let's get into the clip first and then we'll break it down. Now it's time for us to dive into this and do what we have to do. Because we men and we. We men and we. In June 2021, he announced his run for presidency relying solely on the support of conservatives. He was compared with Donald Trump, another outsider who became president. Yoon's policy has only promoted this comparison. He actively courted votes among anti-feminists, promised to raise penalties for falsely reporting sex crimes, vowed to abolish South Korea's Ministry of Gender Equality, and blamed low birth rates on the rise of the feminist movement. This is interesting because South Korea is a democracy and they voted this man in. He barely won, but it says a lot about the policies being supported. I mean, penalties for false sex crimes? Wow! He vowed to abolish Ministry of Gender Equality and blames feminism for low birth rates. Now check this out. According to WorldPopulationReview.com, South Korea has the second lowest birth rate in the world. Why is this a problem? Janice. The global decrease in birth rate has caused some countries to worry that their current birth rate is not enough to replace the older generation, which would lead to a population decline. Problems associated with population decline include a slowed economy, which can lead to the closing of businesses from restaurants to public transportation to schools to medical facilities. Evanism definitely plays a big role when it comes to the global decrease in birth rate. Women tend to focus on careers, have fewer children, and have them later in life. The South Korean president also actively courted votes among anti-ethnists. This means there must be a significant group of anti-ethnists, right? Check this out. Feminism is a concept that a lot of you might be familiar with. But did you know that there is a growing anti-feminism movement in Korea? We recently touched on this topic when we conducted a street interview in response to the controversy surrounding the radical feminist hand gesture, so you should check out that video if you haven't already. The proponents of anti-feminism in Korea, who are mostly young Korean men, advocate for the rights of South Korean men as a direct response to what they perceive to be a radicalization of feminism in Korea, but some of them appear to be willing to take on a more radical approach to raising awareness. Keyword young. Young Korean men are standing up. This is not a coincidence because ethnicism is not about equality. Radical ethnicists abuse the system for their selfish agendas. That's why I'm all for punishing false sex crimes. This should not be played with. Same goes for paternity fraud. It should be a crime. That's not the kind of equality these ethnicists are fighting for. So I can understand why these men are tired. Politicians will cater to the voter, right? These politicians will tell you what you want to hear, and these anti evanist groups are a response to these evanist groups. It's interesting that more than half of the votes, the majority were men, went to this president. Check this out. Yeah. 
동시에 디스코드에 모여 있는 분들도 4만 명 이상이 모여 있습니다. 어, 이 규모에 대해서 조금의 자부심을 가지고 있는 것이 정말로 그들을 극단적 페미니스트들이 주장하는 것처럼 저희가 남성형 주의자고 모든 페미니즘에 반대한다고 한다면 이 정도 규모의 지지를 받을 수 없었을 겁니다. 하지만 This is exactly why the manosphere keeps growing. When I started watching Red Pill content in the early stages of YouTube, 100k subscribers was unheard of. One of the first content creators to reach that 100k mark was Sandman. And he was the first one that I can remember that made daily videos. Daily dose of Red Pills. Now, there was a huge purge when Big John went on CNN. A lot of channels that were representing the acronym of Going Your Own Way were demonetized, shadow banned, or terminated. It definitely affected the growth of this sphere. But at the same time, it created the rise of new content creators avoiding the strikes, using politically correct words like monkey double backflips. Shout out to Coach Greg Adams. But a bachelor came with the cleanest channel avoiding strikes, but still spread the word, taking the subscriber level to new heights. This fear would not grow if the information was incorrect, and in the last 15 years, it has only gotten worse. The results are in. The results of the last 50, 60 years of ethnicism are in. And there are different ways a man can vote, and one is with his feet. 제가 많이 모자란 사람이고 부족한 사람이라고 할지언정 그런 극단적 페미니스트들이 대한민국을 휘 접고 다닌 것을 더 이상은 볼수 없기에 이런 많은 지지를 보내주시고 있다고 저는 그렇게 판단하고 있습니다. 조금 전에 극단적인 페미니스트라고 표현을 하셨는데 그럼 페미니스트에도 종류가 나눠져 있다고 생각하세요? 분명히 극단적인 페미니스트도 존재를 하고 그렇지 않은 페미니스트도 존재를 할 것입니다. 자 우리가 여기서 극단적인 페미니스트라고 정의를 내려보자면 남성 혐오주의자들입니다. 진정으로 이제 성평등, 성평화를 위해서 노력하고 그런 가치를 위해서 이제 나아가는 것이 아니라 정말로 남성들을 혐오하고 어떻게든 없는 가상의 혐오를 생성하여 남녀 갈등을 유발시키려는 그런 특정 목적을 가진 집단이라고 보시면 될 것이고 Manosphere, we working. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted!